Hi everybody, this is a, a quick uh, recording announcement for Biology 1407. I want to show you some materials for your lecture and what you want to be doing with them. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through this uh, over the course of a couple of minutes. Um, so if you go into your Biology 1407 um, Blackboard site, you've got your lecture documents here and hopefully you've been clicking on that. Um, and if you open up, you've got the syllabus right here, which I sent out to you some time ago, and hopefully you've taken a look at that. Um, you've got a link that goes to um, Google Drive. Um, you all have access to this via your um, email account in, at TCC. That's a Google email account, if you didn't already know that. Um, and so this is going to take you to most of your reference material here, so the stuff you need to read, get a hold of, instructions, things like that. Um, and I've just put a new uh, folder right here, which is Lecture Quizzes, and you may have noted that you got an email recently. Um, that Lecture Quiz 1 for Chapter 18 was posted. I just put that up today. So that's a quiz that you want to um, take. That's going to be the quizzes all the way through the semester are going to be 10% of your lecture grade. Okay. So go ahead and study the material in Chapter 18, and when you're done studying your first, you know, you think you're ready, um, go ahead and take this quiz. It's a timed quiz. It's got 10 questions that are going to be randomly drawn from a pool, a bigger group of questions, um, and you've got 15 minutes to do it. So uh, it is conceivable that you could look up all the answers in that time, but you don't want to do that. You want to attempt to do it by memory uh, because the quiz is practice for the uh, exam. All right. Now I've set the quiz, um, as I said, for 15 minutes. It's due at the end of the week. And you can take it as many times as you want. So if you don't get a good grade on it, do it again. And the best grade that you do, however many times you do it, that's the grade that will show up um, in your grade book. So that's, there's really not too much of an excuse for not getting a good grade on these lecture quizzes right here. But remember, the ideal is that you're going to get a good grade on that quiz answering the questions because you know the answers because you've been studying the material. Um, a couple of the questions are a little bit, you know, devious, uh, but it is a low stakes quiz, so that's okay. Uh, most of them are going to be very straightforward. Okay. Uh, let me go into, and then I'll come back and I'll talk about the the homework here in just a minute. But let me go ahead and go back um, to the rest of our documents. And I'm going to go over here and click on our links. Okay, and so what I've got posted right now is Unit 1, Biological Evolution. I asked you all to read Chapter 18 in your book. Um, and here's a PDF copy of the book in case you haven't downloaded one or gotten it in any other way. So you can actually just open up the PDF and read it right well. That's too big, so you'd have to download it yourself. Um, but there it is available, so you can put this on your own computer. Um, let's go on into Unit 1, and it's organized like this. All of the units are organized this way. We've got study guides. We've got a homework assignment. Um, we've got quizzes that um, later um, I'll put paper copies of quizzes in here after um, after a little bit, and you can use them for some at-home studying. And then optional materials, which means optional. Are, do you need to do this stuff? No. Uh, go in there, take anything you want, read it, use it. There's some worksheets. Um, you know, there's some additional PowerPoints. There's some really long detailed notes from a different textbook. There's a bunch of stuff that's useful in here. None of it is required, but it might be handy. All right. Um, so that's the meaning of that optional bit right there. And then I've got some images to help uh, support some ideas right here. I asked you all to read this article, The Mutant Crayfish Clones Itself. We'll have a discussion about that shortly. Um, let me go into the study guides because that's the most important thing. I've reorganized this and rewritten these a little bit since you may have first started looking at them. So um, you'll want to go in there and take a peek. So here's your study guide for Chapter 18. These are the things you want to be able to uh, answer questions about. Um, for chapter 18. And roughly speaking, it just works its way through the chapter and light items, various things. So right here when it says um, evolution by natural selection Darwin, um, you need to be able to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, evolution uh, by natural selection. And, you know, what he did in, in his work, which is all talked about in the book, um, there's a couple of details here that are beyond the book. Um, there might be a question here or there about these things. Um, more of the meat and potatoes uh, part of the uh, of the um, chapter. 
processes and patterns, lines of evidence, misconceptions, what is a species, you'll notice these are um, section headings from your textbook. So the study guide really does go right down through your textbook right here. And what do you need to know out of your textbook? Roughly all the stuff in chapter 18. Everything perfectly word by word? No, but the big ideas. And so I kind of try and keep you on uh, the big ideas through the study guide right here. So go ahead and use that. That's a study guide. Um, I've written some more uh, detailed notes on chapter 18, so this just goes into more details right here. So I'll continue producing more and more of this material as time goes by. Um, so, you know, I'll um, put in a notes for chapter uh, 19 and notes for chapter 20 here shortly. And then I've got PowerPoints, um, which might be a great way to study this material. You can go ahead and open the PowerPoint directly. See, there's the beagle, Darwin, what he did some stuff about his work with finches on the Galapagos Islands, some historical um, information, Alfred Wallace and Darwin, if you didn't know it, both um, independently came up with the same basic ideas at the same time about um, this idea of evolution via natural selection. All right, and then it goes on through the material that hopefully will be somewhat familiar with you. Um, from the studies that you've already done. So um, there's a little bit about the resources that are available, okay? Um, you do have homework. So I've posted it here, uh, homework on the origin of species. All right, and let me magnify this a little bit. And uh, what I want you to do is to create some drawings. So here's an example of a completed homework assignment from um, Biology 1406. It's about meiosis and sexual reproduction, so towards the end of 1406 from last semester. This st student went way out of her way to um, make a PowerPoint with a uh, title page. Um, I didn't... Uh, um, you don't have to do that, but the key thing is she took photographs of her notebook, and the idea of the homework is I want you to do your work in your own way. There's no perfect way to do it. The key is I want you to attempt to answer the question, ask questions, ask questions of your classmates, ask questions of other people, read about the material, and try and answer those questions. Ask me during office hours or um, during our class meeting times, which I'll talk about in a minute. But write down your material in your own notebook, just like you're keeping a notebook for a laboratory, um, that you write down stuff in. And the key thing is here, I want you to write and draw by hand. And then take photographs of the stuff. She just used her phone and took a series of photographs. And then upload, put it in a PowerPoint, because she was just that way, and then uploaded that PowerPoint. On the other hand, I'll show you another student's work right here. Um, that uh, they just submitted the assignment, you know, as a stream of photographs. Uh, this is a different homework assignment from Biology 1406. And I give them full credit for this. I want to see that you worked on the material, attempted to generate answers to the particular questions that you did yourself in your own hand, um, and then upload and submit that stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do have to do each question. So as long as you give it the old college try, as they say, um, answering each of those questions, and it's done um, by hand, um, and then uploaded in photographs or PowerPoints or Prezi's or anything innovative you want to do, but just some photographs uploaded directly in the assignment will work fine, um, do that. And that's your homework assignment. Um, I'll grade these as completion grades. As long as I see that you've generally done everything I asked, I'll give you 100 on that homework assignment. If pieces of it are missing, it'll be kind of proportional. Half of it's done, you get a 50, and so on and so forth. Okay, um, so there'll be one of those assignments for each chapter, a homework assignment for each chapter, and uh, collectively there'll be 15% um, of your grade. There's also going to be a few other homework assignments that are more like activities or exercises. Um, those are usually one per unit, so there's a bigger piece of homework that's, you know, we'll go for all three uh, chapters. Anyway, uh, I'll roll that one out and give you all a little quick uh, um, update of that one when I do. Okay, so that's a little bit about homework. All right, so I'm going to get both of those things out of the way. Um, let's see, and we go back, lecture, let's see, lecture quizzes, do, 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 do. Um, there's something, we're in biology, 1407, yeah, hang on a second. Okay, so lecture documents, lecture 
quizzes. There is uh, quiz number one is ready for you all to do. I already talked about that. And here's uh, written homework number one. Okay, um, this is an assignment. Um, when you click on it, oh wait a minute, let me go into student view. I'm going to try and take a look at it from y'all's view. Uh, 1407 lecture documents, lecture documents, quizzes. I should have labeled that quizzes and homework. Uh, you click on this homework right here, and it tells you that when it's due, September 7th, uh, points possible 100. Create drawings, flowcharts, concepts, etc., etc. Here's the three questions, and then here's how you can upload it. You know, browse your computer, browse your content, browse, cl browse cl cloud storage, wherever you get the information. Or, you know, you can uh, write your own right here and just start pasting pictures in, which is what a whole lot of my students did. They just opened up this thing and uh, started pasting wherever it is, somewhere in here. I'm, um, uh, da, da, da. Oh, I can't find it right now, um, just because I'm rushing. Do you, you know, mashups, YouTube. Well, anyway, there's something in here where you can upload pictures. I just can't find it at the moment. Um, or, you know, prepare the stuff in advance, grab the file, and upload it. Okay? That's your homework assignment. Uh, let's get out of preview. And then the last thing is I'd like to go ahead and schedule class meeting times um, from the surveys that y'all filled out. Um, people, unfortunately, some were Mondays and Wednesdays, some were Tuesdays and Thursdays, some were morning, some were afternoon, some were evenings. There was no clear absolute winner, but by small minor minorities or small majority sorry small majorities um, the most popular times were Monday and Wednesday mornings and then Monday and Wednesday uh, early evenings so what I'd like to do is going forward and I'll have my first session this evening uh, Monday and w Monday uh, sorry Wednesdays we'll have a uh, morning lecture session and then we'll have an afternoon lecture session as well all right, and um, I'll open those up, and I really want to do them more as question and answer, although I will go over material. I'll go over PowerPoints, go over questions and stuff like that. But if you ask questions, I'd rather just focus on stuff that people need help with. Um, what I don't want to do is just lecture for an hour with a bunch of people sitting there, maybe listening, maybe not. Okay, those sessions will be recorded, so students who can't make those sessions will be able to um, pick them up and watch them later. Um, but again, if you come, you can ask questions, I can answer your questions, and we can get um, better, more useful work done that way. All right, um, so look for that announcement. I'm going to go ahead and finish this recording and post it. So that's it for right now, 1407 students. We'll see each other soon in virtual space. Um, work on those study guides, work on your chapter assignments, work on your homework, uh, work on the quiz.